This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. I want to talk about how to positively affect the energies so that way you can show up on dates and have more women reading into a frequency of yours that is going to be to their liking. So the first one is set the tone for positivity. Some of you guys have written me in the last couple of weeks saying like, well, you know, I want to, you know, this girl canceled a date and she wanted to reschedule it, but you know, I don't know if she's doing that just to be nice or whatever. That is an example of like, you're already having a defeatist attitude about women actually wanting to date you. And so just having that thought process, you're going to go into the date and how you carry yourself is all going to be affected by what's up here. You know, you're going to be slouching down. You're going to be probably worrying about what you're going to say to her because you don't want to, you know, she already canceled a date once, for example. And so you don't want her to feel bad about having set this date up. So you're going to just try to keep your words safe and not do anything too jarring and just keep it really even. And like all that is just defeatist attitude versus you going on a date like I'm showing up for the date. I planned a bomb ass date at this great restaurant, this great whatever, and we're going to have the best time. And all I'm going to do is just focus on showing her the best possible time. Going in with that energy, even if in the long run it doesn't work out, she will have a good time on dates. Hey, I dated women where like we had a good time on three or four dates. And then the fourth date or the fourth time I tried to hit her up, she's like, hey, you know what? I've had a really great time, but I'm just not feeling it, which again, that's other frequency stuff. But in terms of the positiveness of the dates and the fun times, those were at least still there. So, but that that's going to get you a better shot at her wanting more dates with you than if you walk in already defeated, slouched over, oh my God, I hope she likes me. And then you're supplementing the whole time. Like, oh my God, please like me, princess. Like, you don't want to walk in with that energy, you know? But when you walk in positive, you're upright, your shoulders are, are up, your chest is out, like you're ready to do this, women really respond positively to that. Uh, secondly, create a comfortable atmosphere. You need to know in advance when you're taking women on dates, like what you're actually getting yourself into. And, and, and this is going to really behoove you guys that aren't used to like planning out dates. Like you're just like, we'll go wherever she wants to go, or we'll just go get a drink somewhere. No, you need to plan in advance. You need to be looking up restaurants to take her to, or bars to take her to, or coffee shops. You need to know the layout of the land. I always look online because you can do that now and go on Yelp. You can look up places you want to take women. You can look at the inside and see what the decorum is. You can get there 15 to 20 minutes early to make sure that everything's set up. So that way when she gets there, her whole night is taken care of. You're just worried about, you're just, you're getting her in, you're sitting her down in a nice seat. You're having comfortable conversation. You're, you're doing things that make her feel like, oh, this is nice. This, this is wonderful. This is amazing. And here's the thing, right? Cause so I did a shoot today. I did a shoot today because I'm shooting for this award show that's happening this week. And so, you know, a lot of the award recipients, you know, those videos they do at the beginning, like, oh, the, uh, so-and-so wants to thank so-and-so and such and such. I was filming those videos, right? Well, a lot of these recipients of these awards are older people. And so the guy we interviewed today, first of all, the guy that hired me for the gig to help him out uh, is an older guy. Like he's 80. And then the guy that we interviewed today was also like definitely in his like 70s or something like that, right? I can't go into that environment and be fumbling with all my stuff and my, and my camera and wondering where this, this is going and talking all fast and moving wires around this and that. Like, because that's not going to create a comfortable environment. We're in a freaking law office. We're in a freaking um, uh, like meeting room where there's all these chairs, stuff like that. So it's like going to that environment, I have to know, okay, when I'm walking, I got to be even tone in my, in my walking. When I am talking to this guy, I can't be my normally talk fasty self. I have to be able to say, hey, so we're going to film this thing. We just need you to say this thing. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking the energy of the room with these two older people and knowing what that needs to feel like for them. This goes back to emotional intelligence. I have to know what this what's going to be the best frequency for me to dial up to or go down to in this environment in order to make them feel the most comfortable. And so that's what you need to start tapping to in dates. Now, this doesn't even mean you got to be soft the entire date because it depends on the date. If you go to a, to a rock concert, you can be up and lively. If you go to a coffee shop, you got to talk a little quieter. You're having little intimate chats with each other. But regardless is you have to know what the environment is and then know how to adjust accordingly in order to make that environment the most comfortable for her so she can start tapping into the frequency that you're bringing to the situation. 
which kind of ties into the third thing, which is be more purposeful in your movements and your pacing. This is especially true for your for your younger guys because hey, I was young once, and I know that I was very much like I was the guy in middle school that would like run around to his locker and like in the hallways doing like Liu Kang ninja kicks just because I thought it was really cool to do. Well, I mean, I got news for you. That kind of energy doesn't really go well on dates. Like, it just doesn't. So you have to really start looking at everything. Everything that you do as a movement, look at the way that you talk. Look at how you look. Like, study yourself in the mirror and look at your face and how you're like when you talk. Um, really focus on how you're saying words. Notice how your hand movements are. Notice, like, I'm grabbing this mug now and I'm taking a nice even sit versus like, oh, oh, like, and I spilled some stuff myself. That does look, look good on a date. But anyway, the point is that, yeah, you really need to start looking at how you are moving because here's the thing. Women are going to look at how you're moving. And the reason they're doing that in part is because women at some point, if you get to a point where you're in a relationship with a woman, I find that most women will end up copying you. They'll copy your walking pace. They'll copy the way you speak. I've had plenty of women. I have a whole bunch of phrases that I say uh, across the board when I'm with women that I just notice they start to say after a while. You know, For example, um, let's say I'm talking to a friend and I have a thought. And then like my friend, one of my friends, like one of my guy friends, I'll have a thought about something. And then he'll say the thing that I was thinking. And I'll say, dude, get out of my head. Well, I find that if I do that around the women that I'm dating long enough, they'll eventually start saying that same exact phrase. So understand, women are going to look at you and say, but is that the frequency that I'm on? Like, do I want to actually follow in this guy's footsteps with the way that he's moving, the way he's pacing himself, the way he's talking, the way that he's moving his arms about? Like, do I want to actually be in that frequency? And you want it to be yes. Now, your frequency can change up because like when you're going on those first couple of dates, you're going to be it's not that you're not being yourself, but you're definitely like, for example, when I go on those first couple of dates, I'm definitely talking a bit slower. I'm a bit more even in my pace. And then as we're dating a bit more, I can start to talk a little faster. I can start to walk a little faster. I can start to make movements, but I still can dial it back down to those lower movements when I need to, which is important for women to understand, right? Because like they need to see that you can move about in various different environments. Um, another thing, learn to read her body cues and uh, sharpen your listening skills to adjust accordingly, right? So this goes back to the way you're going to affect the energy is like when she's making certain cues, it's going to allow you to know, ideally, if you know them, what moves to make and what moves not to make. If she's saying or doing certain things, it'll allow you to know what comment should come next or what things you should hold back a bit, right? So for example, like a lot of women get frustrated with guys actually because let's say after that first or second date, the women are now giving indicators that they want to be kissed. They want to be asked to go back up to the bedroom and the guy's not doing it because he's so in his head about, I want to be a gentleman. I want to be a nice guy that he's not looking at, but she's looking at your lips, but she's licked her lips several times now, but she's put her hands like this, like, Oh my God, she's put on lip gloss. Like, and you're, you're looking at, you're not noticing any of this stuff. Right? So here's the thing, right? If you notice those things, then you'll know the next move to make that now escalates the attention and energy and frequency that's going on. Because going from like, we're just talking and having a good time to like, oh, now she's putting on lip gloss and now you're kissing to like, oh, now she's inviting you up to like, oh, now you're in the bedroom. Those are all different frequencies, but those frequencies are gonna change based on if you know how to react to them. If you don't know, then you're leaving a lot of women that are gonna be frustrated because it's like, he's not picking up on what I'm putting down. like. I'm not trying to date a bad dude, but this dude isn't getting it. But the bad boys out there are getting all my signals. Crap, I got to go back to the bad boys. And that's on you, guy. You got to learn what these signals are. You got to learn what these various things are that she's doing. So that way you can start tapping into, okay, it's time for me to shift the frequency. You know, And women that are going on these dates, if, I'm going to tell you right now, if you've had a woman agree to more than one date with you, I can assure you this woman is probably already thinking about what you're going to do to her in the bedroom. Like even you guys that are shy or timid or don't know what's going on, if you're getting a second date, she's thinking on that second date, because I've, I've made this mistake in the past, right? Of like, oh, it's a second date, but I don't want to kiss her because I don't want her to feel weird. If she said yes to a second date, she's probably ready for a kiss. She's probably thinking about bedroom stuff. She's probably already thinking about what girlfriend style things she can do to you that's going to convince you to want to eventually wife her up or a girlfriend her up or whatever. Like girls are already far and above ahead of this than most of us guys are, you know? So just consider that when you're starting to look at how you can affect the energy in a positive way to get what you want. 
And then speaking of that, the last way you can uh, affect the energy is to be flexible. Like, don't be that guy that's so stuck on this plan's got to go the specific way that you're not able to maneuver when necessary, you know? Like, for example, let's say I've had it, for example, a uh, few years ago, I went on a date and I picked up the girl. We went to this Mexican spot and the Mexican spot was so full, we couldn't get a seat. So at that point, it's like, okay, I guess the date's over. We got to go home. No, I went to uh, the same restaurant, but in a different location because I knew where another one was. And that place was also full and about to close. I'm like, oh my God. So at this point, I could react two ways. I could be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I just wanted to make so things impressive and blah, blah. What kind of energy is that? That's a defeatist attitude that shows that I'm really trying to simp for her because I'm hoping that whatever I'm doing, she's going to really like. Or I could do the other thing that I ended up doing, which is, hey, you know what? No problem. I already know I'm on the restaurant we can go to. Went to TGI Fridays. And she was like, I'm down for that. Great. Let's go do that. Did that. Had a great time. End of the date. Not even the end of the date, like the middle of the date, we got, I got to kiss her. So it's like, but it's like, because I was flexible in that moment and I wasn't going to like let these things throw me off, I was able to keep a positive frequency throughout. On top of, she's now able to see, oh my God, this guy's able to think on his feet. Oh my God, this guy actually has like multiple places in his head that he can take me should something go wrong. He's a planner and women love planners, which is why I tell you guys all the time, part of what makes the Introvert Dating Success Academy so successful is that it maps out a plan for how to go from dating to in a relationship because women want that. Women want a guy that has a plan because again, that allows her to tap into your frequency about, oh my God, this guy seemingly has stuff put together. I like riding this wave. This frequency feels great to me. I can get down with this, you know? So these things will really, really help you in an attempt to be able to tap better into her frequency. It'll allow her to tap better into yours. And at the end of the day, guys, if you know how to best tap into her frequency, she will be doing everything she can to make sure that she you recognize that she's trying to get in your frequency. Because women don't really gel connect with men that they want to be in relationships with all that often. Like they might gel with a guy that you know wants, they want to hook up with. But in terms of like a long-term relationship, it is very, very hard for women to catch that thing that says, I feel this chemistry, you know, because it's all about feelings for them. I just feel a thing for him. I just feel that he just gets it. I just, and so if you're able to tap into that, trust me, you will have women mowing you down for their attention. And as I always say, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. <laughs>